It's all about finishing up the grasslands so I can head back to the mine. Just a few more of these to get done. Two of them in the purple variety. Sometimes these are blue, sometimes they're purple. And there's a timer on this one. We gotta do this in a minute and 30. Gotta hurry this up. And I've got some kind of buff. Oh, we all got the buff. Look at that. I forgot what buff that is. Put the orange symbol and wow. Mai is going crazy. She just keeps talking. <laughs> We're in the middle of the battle and she's just continuing to ramble on. How do I turn her off? That is hilarious. I've got two full bars. It's time to let it fly. I'm letting it fly, baby. I'm taking a lot of hits. And I might want to switch to somebody else. This is getting crazy. And let me... Oh, yeah. Let me use his actually bonus round. Or maybe... Fo no, we'll do focus. So we can get the stagger. There we go. The pressure. Oh, yeah. It's leaning back. Now, let me use my... I'll let the fire fly. The fire and the lightning. It's almost done. I'm trying to shot clock cheese this. 42 seconds left. Few more hits and it's done. I didn't get all the objectives. They say you get more challenges in the simulator, but I don't know. I've never seen more. That was a very impressive battle just now. Well done. Based on the battle data you provided, I was able to generate a new virtual combat trial. Oh. And I help too. Feel free to try it whenever the mood takes you. Go on. I really did leave the fiends for last. So let me clean all of these up real fast. Oh, these are little. This is going to be easy work. And there goes Maya again. She's talking. She's trying to let us know what it is. We don't care. Turn off, lady. <laughs> Her voice is so funny. And these things are little, but they do have a good amount of health. Look at that. Cloud is low on health. Let's see if Aerith, if she's going to cure whenever she gets that bar. It takes her a while to get her bar, though. Look, it's not moving. It's barely moving. She's got to let it fly. See, if I manually control her, she would have had it already. But she's taking her sweet little time. Okay, now she has a bar. Let's see if she cures one of us. And actually, okay, she did cure somebody. She used it. Okay, I got my health back. Nice. The autocast is coming in clutch. And it even said that something went up too. Because it pops up so fast. I'm in the middle of the battle. I can't read all that. So look, I'm almost done. Just a few more to get done in the grasslands. So this is gonna be an expedition and there it is. It's trying to let me know, but I already know I'm already here. Let me collect all of this. The only thing is, cause I've crafted a lot of stuff, but now the materials I need, I can't find them. So I think I got to advance. I got to go into the mine. Maybe the mine is good. Cause one of them does say mine ore or something. So I got to advance the location of this game to keep going because I'm ready for that new gear. I'm ready to get stronger. I'm ready for more of these slots for the materia. I'm ready to be beasting and feasting out there on the battlefield. So I got to clean up the grasslands and keep it moving. Keep getting that XP too because I need that next weapon. The next upgrade is going to give another slot ability slot. I need that. And then this one is hiding somewhere. Okay, these fiends. Oh, they're they're red. This is a red version. So does the red mean that they're going to be weak to fire? Let's see when I assess. And they are weak to fire and ice. So see that? A lot of times the colors you see, that is the color they're going to be weak to. Oh, they're going crazy. Ooh, okay. It's cheesing. Now let me let one of these fly. 
Let that firebolt go. Oh, I'm, I just got stomped. Ooh, Cloud is getting beasted. Then feasted on. And Aerith, you see, she still doesn't have one ATB bar, so she can't help right now. That's tough. Can't use any of that. Let me switch to her because I'll do a better job. Look, I'll be faster. See, let that fly. Hold that button down. I got a bar already. Big hit. And now, let me use... We'll go ahead and let this fly. I'm having fun with her now. Oh, I'm immune. I blocked one. But not two. Here we go again. And now... And look at this. Okay, I already know that. I'm just trying to get rid of them. There we go. Nice. It doesn't like that. Look at the power behind that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, the summon bar is popping up. Somebody can let it fly. We're going crazy here. If this battle lasts a little bit longer, you're going to say hello to some cheese. All right, this one's almost staggered. Look at that meter. A few more hits, and you're done. Oh, I've been turned into a toad. Look at that cheese. These enemies got toad transformation. You're staggered. I've got two bars. I might as well let those two bars fly, or maybe not. Maybe I don't even have to. The fight's over. Easy work. See, I had an ability. That's what I got. I got to pay more attention. Once they have an ability, I got to switch or quickly use the commands. So this bird is not moving. It's circling, but it's not going to the next location. I'm just going to guess that it's going to keep being this way. Since the mark is that. But isn't it supposed to go that way? Or maybe not. Maybe it's just supposed to show you a little bit of where it's at. And then you got to figure it out. So let me grab all this stuff. Uh-huh. Could never have enough of this to keep crafting. Keep that supply high in case I get into a dangerous fight. And all of this stuff, I don't need too much. I need more. Well, a lot of the ingredients I need, I can't find out here. So I do have to just advance. Not much I can do, but more XP is on the way. More data points. And then I'll go buy whatever else he has for sale because I left some of that stuff for later. I got the auto cast. That was the most important. I got all of those. Cloud, upon analyzing the data from the life spring, I was able to locate a new transmuter chip. It's among the refuse left over from the pipeline's construction. Though a touch far from your current location, it's a rather short chocobo ride. So now we've got another one of these, and this is in a territory I haven't even explored yet. So it's not going to be that way because that's a checkpoint. So I guess I got to drop down. See, I thought it was going to be up here, but it's down here somewhere. I'll take the shortcut. And then, oh, it's right here. Okay, guys. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's these wolves or thunder draws. Okay, they might not have any weaknesses, huh? Let's see. No weaknesses. They absorb lightning. And they have immunity to, I don't know if that's fire or what. One of them looked like a timer. Some kind of, I don't think I have that ability yet, though. So you just got to use regular damage on them. I'm letting it fly. It is absorbing. Look, it's about to explode. See, I don't like these enemies because they explode. And that is some cheese. Uh-oh, I got shocked. I got shocked. I got some kind of red status effect. Okay, it went away. It went away. And I'm slicing and dicing. Oh, he let it fly. I think he just did overcharge. I'm stuck again. Wow, they put me in some kind of static effect. So let's switch on over here. Barrett is a tank. I'm going to make him tanky. He's going to have all those abilities. And then let me use, let's use the focus shot. Gotcha. Take all that damage. You don't like that, huh? Back to cloud. He's frozen. He's electrocuted. I'm slicing and dicing. And that's it. Sonic Boom got him up out of there. See, I only got one objective, but that's okay because you still get the challenge or whatever's going to happen in the simulator. Cloud. Cloud, I see that you completed that challenge with grace and panache. 
Don't you know it's rude to interrupt? Why? I didn't know such thing. <sighs> In any case, Cloud, I've analyzed the battle data you sent and constructed a new virtual combat trial. I hope it's to your liking. I'm making progress. I'm trying to knock them all out right now. So now I'm going to go ahead and do this one because I'm going to get the first strike materia. This one is important. You want to be able to start the battle with almost a full bar. So let me use some of these attacks. Zoom in there and go crazy. Taking my time. Let them fire off. They're firing off. Build up your skills, baby. Using the synergy. Look, this is some cheese. I can just keep using that to build up. So maybe that's what I should do. Use Aerith's version to get her to get a bar and just keep spamming that. Okay, this thing is pressured and now staggered. And that's it. How about you? It's your turn now. It's your turn. Got him. You're off balance. A few more swipes. Oh, you're charging forward. Victory. Let's go to round two. And now we've got some of them. Those orcs. Keep firing from a distance. Look, Barrett's about to get his. He's got his. And I've got mine. That is a nice long ranged attack. See, I need to use that more often. I always thought that the synergy, I thought it was an ability, not a skill, but they're different. The skills are free. It doesn't use any bars. And that's easy work. The third and final round. Okay, now we've got some serious enemies. But I'm going to do the same thing. We're going crazy. I'm spamming this bullet batter. Look at that chase. <laughs> oh, man. I'm letting it fly. Let's fight up here. Oh, yeah. You can spam this in the air, too. What it do? AB staggered, but you're up out of there. Wow, I was levitating like a boss. All right, let me go after you. Let's try this on you, too. See, the counter fire, I don't know if that's going to work because that's a defensive move. But maybe if you press it, even if they're not attacking, maybe it still works. I don't know. I might have to try that out. I might have to see what's going on out here. I'm slicing and dicing. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ripping through them. They don't like that. Going crazy. About to get another bar. And I got hella buffs. Look at that. Look at all these moves. I had four. Okay, they disappeared. Now, I had four different buffs that got activated. Going for the kill. Wow, they have so much health. It's not time, though, so it doesn't matter. Here go the boost. Look at that. I got the buffs again. I got four of them again. I'm just going crazy. How much health do you have, buddy? Wow. Okay, the summon. Oh, the summon was there. I could let that summon fly. How long was that? I wasn't even paying attention. Let the summon get rid of this last one. Let's see what he can do. I need to see how strong this Titan really is. Into the battle you go. Come on, Titan. Go to work. Okay, the Titan just threw something at him. The health is still high, though. Come on, Titan. Do something else. Let me see you attack. Okay, it threw something else again, but that didn't really do that much damage. Wow, maybe Titan is mid. I don't know. Okay, there's Titan. Okay, Titan stomping a little bit. Okay, that helped out. Hit him again. Come on, Titan. Go crazy. Oh, he missed. He threw a punch and missed. He missed again. How is Titan missing? You're right there. How do you miss a strike right in front? Okay, it does have a look at that. It has a mountain attack. Ooh, okay. Maybe you have to tell it what to do. Look at that. When I told it what move to use, it actually hit. But when it was operating on its own, it was missing shots. That was crazy. There's one more fiend that was hiding back here, and I tried to get this last time, but I got lost and did that boss battle, but it was all the way over here to the other side, and it's going to be three of these things. Let's see. They might be a problem. Oh, maybe that's not the same as what I thought. Okay, no, that's something totally different because I remember in one of those missions, 
it was a weird animal that was coming up out the ground like that and it was tough these don't look that tough ice ice and fire see that's the only problem see some of them are weak to fire some are ice but how do you know once you get out of that accessory how do you know which one is weak to what that's the question or maybe if you go in the menu on a spell maybe it'll tell you maybe, maybe when you're clicking on one it says and also i noticed there's two counter fires one of them is yellow there's a yellow dot next to Aerith. So maybe that means that's about to be some cheat. Maybe that's better than if I do that version with Barrett. I don't know. See, I'm learning something new every day. I got to read the manual, but this is a there's a big manual when it comes to Final Fantasy VII. Give that guy a manual. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to get all three objectives this time. For whatever that means out here. Got him. Packed him up. So maybe you just get more XP or something when you get all the objectives. I don't know. I don't know what. I guess that's what's going to happen. I'm getting close to that party level three, though. Look at that. Bravo. That was an extraordinary display. The data you collected will prove invaluable. In fact, We've already used it to produce a new combat trial. Check it out. What? I see that Mai has already covered everything, which means I have nothing to add at this time. And now we got to go digging. And this is important because it's more gear and potions and things like that that I'm going to be able to craft once I figure this out. So this one is hiding right here. Let's see what this is. And now I'm getting a hunter's bang enhanced. So what's going to be hiding in this spot? This time I get some earrings. Okay, that might be good. The third and final spot. I'm going to get power wrist guards. High powered risk guard. Okay, that might be an upgrade from what I currently have. So nice. We'll see if I have the materials for it. Because a lot of this stuff, sometimes I can't find any of that in this part of the map. I think I got to advance. But there it is. All of the intel is done for the grasslands. A job well done. That's so. <laughs> if Mildred's happy, I'm happy. She said you've got a world to see. <laughs> She just wants an excuse to travel, but I am overdue for a vacation. Think I've been working myself too hard lately. Rest would do you good. What is this terrible scent? It's reminiscent of Hojo's lab. It's time. Time to go. To leave. <laughs> You okay? It's just the degradation. Every soldier's got to make their peace with it. Now you know why I can't see any old doctor. You're a soldier too, aren't you? Ex-soldier, actually. Didn't mean to scare you. The symptoms aren't always the same. And who knows? You might be one of the lucky ones. Right. Just don't take your youth for granted. All right. You only get one shot at life, and you can't let Shinra take it from you. You can't let them win. Breaking news at this hour. Hey, how you doing? What? Hey, mister. You a winner? Some say. Awesome. That's good enough for me. The name's Vash, and I could really use your help. Truth is, I bungled a Queen's Blood match. Hard. So, not only did my ego take a lickin', but I lost a card near and dear to my heart. What I'm getting at is, I think you'd be able to win it back for me. The Chocobo and Moogle one. It's rare, and the one high-value card in my whole deck it was the only thing getting me through the daily grind. I mean, the bullshit I have to 
put up with at this job. The fights, the late nights, the drunks, and that slimy bastard. He... He stole it! Hey, I get it. I'm a bartender, too. You... You are? So then you know. She's so tough, it can't be. Don't you think I would if I could? God! I'm a player, don't you get that? Whatever you say. Hardcore players are willing to throw down hell a gill for rare cards. Please, I'm begging you, you gotta get it back before that ball tries to sell it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But first, I gotta make sure I'm putting my baby's fate in the right hands. Mind if we go around? And I finally figured out how to play this game correctly, so this should be fun. So this is actually an interesting game. You're basically, every time you lay down a card, whatever card you're using will give you more slots that you can use next, and there's all kind of power abilities, so you just kind of got to figure out how you're going to trap your opponent so that you can win. The first time I played this, I had no idea what I was doing. I was confused, but now at least I get the gist of it. So I think I'm going to go with this because that seems like the best option because now I have two. See, I'm, I'm basically. So now he's trying to corner me on that top route. So now I need something. See, I go here and I just cancel his area to add it to me. And then I add another one out in front. So now he's in trouble because he needs a card. I don't think he's going to have a card that's going to open that back up on the top. So that top lane is going to be my lane and I'm already winning the middle lane. So this is going to be interesting. And I'll go ahead and lay this one down at the bottom. Why not? I don't want to compete with the top just yet. He's got nothing down here. Make him put cards down here. Okay, he adds one. He's still trailing on that bottom one. So I think I'm going to go right here. And with those next two, I should win the top row. So this should be game over because I'll have the top and then the middle and I'm the winner. So I'm going to use... The two right here, and then that's going to open up that bottom slot. Look, I erase his bottom. So that is a nice card right there, whatever card that was. That was some cheese. So now he puts one there. But you see, he's kind of stuck right now. And I'm going to go ahead and place mine right here because, look, it's going to enhance the middle. So that goes up plus one. Now, that's some cheese. The only place he can go is right there. But I've got six. So what is he going to do? So now I might as well just end it right here at the bottom and I win every row. He can't make a move. I can't make a move. So it's game over and I win every row. So that was a game well played. Let's get it. Let's get it, baby. A score of 17. Easy work. Okay. That's the kind of skill I'm talking about. You'll beat Virgil, no prop. That's the guy you gotta play. The one who took my card. He works at the clock tower. Mine kicking his for me. And when you're done, come straight back. I'll have a special cocktail waiting with your name on it. Got this great recipe. I've been itching to try again. Oh, care for a match? We're here for the card you took from the bartender. Ah, the card. So, Vash has resorted to this, hiring people to win his games for him? <laughs> Fine, but word of warning, I'm not a pushover like some folks. Here we go. For the first card, I think it's always best to do that if I have it, because then I add level twos at the top and the bottom. You got a lot of options when you start off that way. So now I'm going to go here at the top or actually maybe not because I want a two. I don't have any three, so we'll switch it to that one because then at the bottom, I wouldn't be able to put anything down there because I don't even think I have a three. This is an interesting card. Look at all the spots that it's adding up ahead. That's hella glitchy. So now I'm winning in the middle and the top, the bottom. Okay, now he's going to tie me in the middle. 
And if I place this card here, I erase... Look at that. I'm going to go to the bottom. I erase the middle card, so now I can win that middle row with my next placement. And let me... Let's go... Yeah, let me go here first before I go to the other middle because I've already got that one won. Let's just stop him in his tracks right there unless they have some kind of card that's going to erase. He does not have one. So now I'll go to the middle. Make sure I win the middle. And look, I'm going up by two, by the way. So look at the patience of waiting to lay that one down. I got six. The bottom row is mine to win because I have all the slots. Look, he can't go anywhere else. I did a great job in this one. He can't even move. And, and that's it. It's game over. So now I just got to make sure that this doesn't... Because maybe it'll take that one up to the... Okay, that one is better because, see, now I get a plus two as well. Why not? Why not get a plus two, get more power, and the game is over. I am the winner. I can lay this down. Let's see which one is going to give the highest score. I don't know if there's some kind of trophy or something for a high score that you can get. Or maybe total points. I don't know. So I'll end this game and I win this too. Give me the card back. Stop playing those games. You only need two rows. As long as you win two, you're good to go. Easy work once again, getting the hang of this game. Ah, damn. I really lost? It was one hell of a match though. Am I right? You and I are definitely gonna have to play again sometime. But, uh, not today. Gotta run. Hold it. Aren't we forgetting something? <laughs> right, the card. The one I won off Fash, right? Oh, shoot. Which card was that again? Oh, crap, I remember. The Chocobo and Moogle one. So this is kind of awkward, but I don't have it anymore. Is that so? No, seriously. I, I flipped it. I was on my last gill, so I had to sell it to a card collector. A guy named Thorin. He runs this card shop outside of town. Maybe check with him? A merc's job is never done, am I right? Hey there. You folks buying or selling? We're here for the Chocobo and Moogle card. Of course you are. Hate to break it to you, but ain't no way I'm giving up that beaut. At least, not to some dabbler who fancies himself a collector. Unless you more than dabble. Tell you what, you beat me, and that card is all yours. So, you game? Why, <laughs> only the most popular card game in recent memory. Name comes from that legend of the queen who ruled the world till she was deposed and killed by her people. And from that royal blood spilt, sprouted the fiends of the world. Come on, you know the story. At any rate, game's really taken off. No matter where you go, you'll find people willing to play. So let me see what he has to sell. Ooh, okay, so he's got legendary cards. It's only 500 gil. So let me buy the Titan first and then see if I can sell anything to get the other one. Because that's going to be a problem. That's the only thing that's bad about this game. I'll sell this. I'm not even using that. Is that your success in this game is based on these cards. So you kind of got to buy the cards. Pay to win? Only one way to get that Chocobo and Moogle card back. Beat me fair and square. <laughs> Then bust out those cards, boy. I can't wait to let those new cards fly. Look, the Titan is already in the deck. That is a five. You're going to get plus five wherever you lay that down. That lane is going to be an instant winner. So now I think I should place, because I've got both of the legendary cards that are in my deck right now. So this is going to be, okay, actually, you know what? Go down there because then I can use the three one because the fat Chocobo has three. So the only way to lay down the three is if you have a three slot. So now I put that one in the top slot and I should win that top slot. And then the Titan, if I put the Titan, okay, let's do that. Wow. So that allows me to put the Titan in the middle. So now I'm, I instantly win this game. 
because I'm going to win top and middle. There's no way, right? I still have a few more that I can lay down, and I'm already at five and seven. That's some cheese. Wow. I wonder, can you get more than one of these legendary cards, or can you only have one? Because some, most of the cards in the deck, you can have like two of them. And you can delete, maybe you just keep one, so you can swap in another card. Imagine if you could have double it. That would be absolutely ridiculous. So let me lay this down right there. Get rid of that middle. So they got no hope in the middle when I lay this down. That is a nice card. That card is so simple, but it goes crazy. Ooh, I'm lowering the bottom. Oh, I'm getting greedy. No sportsmanship for the Hall of Fame CPU. <laughs> I'm not letting them get any points out here, baby. So let me lay, actually, let's do that. So I've got a nine up top, nine in the middle. They only got one, they, they can't even move, they're frozen. I froze them out of here. And that card is glitchy. Look at that, I laid it down, it goes right back into the deck. So you get to use it again if you want. Put a plus four, I got six in the bottom, uh-oh. And then I only got one more card to let fly. So there it is. I'm the winner once again. I get all three. All three lanes are mine. He got beasted and feasted on. Easy work again. That's a smooth move. What maneuver could possibly be smoother? I dropped a nuke on that man. 25. I dropped a nuke to go get this card right here. Okay. You've got some serious skills, son. Joke's on me for thinking otherwise. Deal's a deal. Here's your card. But next time you go up against me, I'll be bringing my A game. Breaking news at this hour. You did it! You got my baby back! To be honest, this isn't the first card I've lost. And considering just how many I've lost, one this rare is definitely wasted on me. Here. It's probably better off with you. The suspects remain at large. Really? But only until I've gotten good enough to win it back. Whew. That's a weight off my mind. Right, enough of that. How about I fix you two your drinks? So, this guy moved here recently from Midgar, left after the Sector 7 tragedy. You know how it is. Anyway, he kept raving about this incredible cocktail served at a famous bar in the Undercity. Seventh Heaven. Don't know if you heard of the joint. They called it the Cosmo Canyon. Pretty, don't you think? Go on, drink up. Thanks. You know, that was just what I needed. Knew you'd like it. Although, apparently, my version pales in comparison to the Undercity original. So much so, the guy flat out refuses to order it again. Pinch of salt. That'll give it the kick it needs. Trust me. Salt, huh? Hey, that's pretty clever. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. Wait, don't tell me. You're the one who invented the Cosmo Canyon, aren't you? You're that Seventh Heaven bartender! Not today, but someday soon. When we do open up a new place, swing by. I'll make you a Cosmo Canyon myself. <laughs> okay, but I'm holding you to that. I'll be there opening night with bells on. Promise. So that's nice because that card I just got is really good. So now it's added to my collection. This is the final mission of the Grasslands. I never did. This was the first one that popped up to go collect the flowers and I never did that. So once I'm done with this, I can move on to the mine. There's nothing else that I left here. I collected everything. I bought everything that's possible to buy. I got the cards. I got it all. And I guess you can't, cause I was always wondering like, what if you're, what if when you assess and then you see the weaknesses of the enemies, but you don't have whatever it is equipped and you need to switch it. Uh-oh, Cloud got stuck. Look at that cheese, Cloud is stuck. Let's switch on over to here. Okay, now Cloud is free. He's up out of there. Let's go back to him then. Be a straight menace. Wow, just look at all of them. I've never seen these kinds before. So, know which ones to pick? Yeah. 
I got this. As much as I want to believe you, your face says otherwise. <sighs> Good thing you've got me here. Sort of reminds me of when we picked flowers for the leaf house. This picture has four different colors, but there's only three that I can pick. The white, the red, yellow, green. That's a start, but we're definitely going to need more. So maybe it doesn't matter as long I guess as long as you get three that are correct. So I can't go and get the blue, for example. So I'll just take the green because I see a little bit of green in that. So why not? I'm glad I saved this for last because this isn't anything too crazy. And those enemies weren't even, I don't even know if I got that much XP out of it. But hey, the grasslands are about to be done. A few more couldn't hurt. So now I'll grab the yellow and then we're up out of here. I think actually they did have red back there, but I just passed it. So let me grab this, go back over there, complete this. And then it's time to get dirty in those mines because I need some of that stuff for the gear upgrades I'm trying to get. All right, that should probably be enough. Let's go get him to Chloe. And there's the red over there. So I probably could have taken a red, but it's all good. Wow, look at all of these. Thank you. It was our pleasure. I'm kind of worried, though. What if mine's not as pretty as mom's? Well, lucky for you, I just so happen to be a florist. I'd be more than happy to help you put one together. Really? <laughs> we'll make two. Right, Cloud? Sure. Look. Gosh, it's, uh, it's definitely unique. One of a kind. Maybe, but unique is exactly what I wanted. I love it. Thank you. There's something I can help you with? Oh, Billy. Here, for you. Chloe, did you make this? Uh-huh. <laughs> Thanks. So? <laughs> Cute, don't you think? Yeah. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finally ready to advance and leave this section of the game. I did everything. My songs, He Quit the Game, Lob City, and My Camo are now available on all streaming platforms. Something's been happening here. Oh wait, that's a touchdown. Get rid of it. Back of the end zone. Wow. What a route for Davis. The separation. That was a beauty. I got hit as I threw it, and it was still right.